Dorothy, right? She was my friend. And when she died, I, I kept her pension book. You insured my father for £250,000. You are my chance of a lifetime. I heard Adrian and your sister talking at the hospital about you not being able to conceive again. I wanted to tell you in my own time. If you don't understand that, then we shouldn't even be together. We've got the whole place to ourselves. There's no one I'd rather be with. to go? I don't want you to go, but... Five more minutes. Get up, Polly. You promised to help me. But we sorted what you're wearing. You both change my mind. It's not me. I'm gonna wear my own stuff. Okay. Don't listen to a professional. It's your court case. Shh. So good listening. I don't know why you don't just tell them. They know about the pensions anyhow. Because I don't want to give them stuck-up cows another reason to look down the noses at me. Only one for me. Junk mail, I suppose. Can I go to Molly's after school? Sorry? Can I go to Molly's after school? Uh, we'll see. I've got PE today. You're all right, Mum? Yeah, everything's fine. Well, let's get breakfast. in my bank account. Ah! People are going to have to start taking me seriously now. Can you see why I didn't want that pen when I'm going to court? I'm as good as them any day. Better. I bet they haven't got this much cash to play with. So I won't be needing to wear this. I'm going to walk into court, head held high. This is me, Claudia Williams, Your Worship, and I'll be happy to pay whatever fine you give me. I've got to make George proud. he lock me in this. <laughs> I'll you back. I've been ringing everywhere. Where have you been? I needed time to cool down. Sarah, you can't just walk out the first time anything goes wrong. You've got no idea how I feel. This is really hard for me, Adrian. Anna and I, we made a mistake. We should have said something to you, but you weren't completely honest yourself. So I'm to blame. No one's to blame. 
But if we still love each other, we can work this out. Can we? I don't know, I don't know. We've both said things and done things. Well, what do you mean? Nothing, I just... I don't know, my head's all over the place. I just... I need space, I've got to go to work. do that, she's just been fed. A little baby puke never hurt anyone, did it, Poppy? Uh, Claudia, can I ask you a massive oh. favour? You couldn't possibly pick up the kids from school this afternoon. Tom's busy and I'm consulting. Oh, sorry, I'm busy myself this afternoon. Uh, what about you, Paul? I'd be really grateful. We're all busy, Liam and all. All right. Special occasion? Not really, no. But you're all too busy to pick up the kids. Sorry, did you say special occasion? Yeah, of course it is. It's our auntie's... Uh, 100th birthday. Oh, you've got an auntie that's a hundred. A great aunt. I mean, when we say auntie, we mean, you know, like she's an honorary auntie. Toast, anyone? Would you like some toast, Poppy? Ooh. Hi, it's Sebastian. Please leave me a message. Hi, Sebastian. It's Sarah. Um, no message, really. Just, um, give me a call when you can. OK, thanks. Bye. Check that Anna's all right, Willie. I've got to go to the police station. We'll take the Land Rover. The keys are in the ignition. <laughs> Anna? Anna, what the hell is that thing doing outside? What thing? Are you OK? No, I'm not. The Land Rover. It's parked in the driveway. Oh, yeah. This bloke turned up with a bashed-up Land Rover. Asked me to sign for it. There you are. Do you know anything about that vehicle? Yeah, it's Land Rover Defender 2.5 turbo diesel. Uh, Daisy, can you take Jake upstairs and help him brush his teeth, please? It's the Land Rover our father was killed in. Well, how was I meant to know? You can't blame Al, Liam. We got a check in the post this morning. We agreed to pay off the right off value and return the car. Well, you didn't try and stop them? Well, I didn't know they meant today. Do I have to do everything? Just ring them up and tell them we don't want it. Well, I'll have it. I could do with some cash. I mean the Land Rover, not the money. Hey, there's no need to talk to Paula like that. And anyway, by rights, half that money's mine. It was my husband. Yeah, you tell her. The Land Rover belonged to the Chase. And half the Chase belongs to me. Oh, oh let's not get into that now. I could get rid for you. At a price. 50 quid, and I'll get it to her. I mean it, Liam. I want that Land Rover gone. Yeah, yeah. No worries. I'll sort it. Oh, it needs with the dents knocked out, a bit of filler, spray job. It looked like new. Grizzly, innit? it? Just think someone croaked inside. Don't worry, love. I'm going straight down there on your bunch. Claudia, are you okay? Make a great run around this. Are you sure I can't keep it? No way. I want rid, Liam. Do you hear me? I want rid. Hello. You're really? Well, I couldn't keep away. Oh, last night was incredible. What's up? Nothing. I just think we should keep us and work separate, that's all. Why? I need to get used to the idea. And then there's the children and Tom to think. Yeah, I want to tell everybody! You're a married woman. Well, not for much longer if I've got anything to do with it. That smile on your face. None of your business. So looking forward to seeing your aunt. What aunt? How many hundred year old aunts have you got? What? You're visiting her this afternoon. Oh, that aunt? Yeah, yeah. Tell Claudia she doesn't need to make excuses in future. She doesn't want to pick up the kids, she doesn't have to. I can ask Shirley. No, honestly, we're all out this afternoon. She's telling the truth. Nice try, Liam. You're loyal. I'll give you that. My stomach's seen it like that. You can't dwell on it. 
Your George wanted you to be happy, so he's left you the cash to do it. Well, he didn't actually leave it to me. I made him take out the insurance. Yeah, but he was getting on a bit, so it was only right, and it paid off, didn't it? Do you think we should go dark for the court case? I've got a fab new colour with purple low lights in. I think I might have blown it with Anna about this aunt of ours. Oh, Liam, that was my alibi for why we're not around this afternoon. Well, you could have warned me. So have you thought about what your alibi's going to be when you're not around for the next couple of years? What are you on about? You could go down. Don't be stupid, I'll only get a fine. Look, I don't want to worry you, sis, but I know a fellow that got sent down for a ten-stretch for fraud and it wasn't even government money. Well, stop it, Liam, you're frightening her. Oh, look at her frown lines, her makeup's going in creases. That's the least of your worries. I don't think you realise how serious this is. You're going to have to pack some stuff just in case. Good idea. We could do a runner. You've got 250 grand. What's stopping us? 200 and how much? <laughs> now, while Claudie's got her insurance payout, she'll make one of them richest lists. Will you two shut it? You've been serious about going down for this? Yeah. God, I was sure I'd just get a fine. It depends on the judge. But it's my first offence and I paid all the money back. I even calculated the interest because I'm good with money. Too good. Oh, it won't come to that, will it? You're having me on, aren't you? Look, my hand's shaking. Oh, get her a drink. <sighs> There's somebody over there. I need to think. I mean, what can I do? I'd never last in prison, me. What if a butch guard takes a fancy to you? Or even another prisoner? You're not really helping, are you? You read about stuff like that? Shut up! Holy poo! I feel sick. I was having such a good day with the money going into my bank account. What are you going to do? What can I do? Leg it! I am not doing a runner after all I've been through to get here. That's just what them pair would want. I'd be playing straight into their hands. George wanted me to stay put. So I'm going to front up in court and I'm going to pray that he's looking down on me. You'll be all right, sis. Like you said, it's your first offence. What are you doing? Getting this crap off my face. Liam, pick up that grey suit I chucked in the corner and hang it up, will you? Paula, work your magic. I want to look like butter wouldn't melt. <laughs> How do people walk in flat heels? Remember, sis, don't say out, leave it to your brief. And remind him I play on the fact that you've recently been widowed. It should go down well with the judge. Here, chest rub. Put it under your eyes. A few tears might come in handy. I don't need to pretend to cry. I've got bucketfuls of the real stuff. Your brief's there, Claudia. You better get ready. Sorry? Mr Alcos, wait. My belly just slipped. What if I don't come out? doing? You can't just walk in here and help yourself. You don't live here anymore. I'm sorry. We, um, run out of milk, I didn't think. You all right? Yeah. Why shouldn't I be? There's no reason. It's just... Forget it. Forget what? I thought we were getting somewhere. You know? That things were improving between us. Well, it's difficult at the moment. Why? Because Matt's staying on now. It's got nothing to do with Matt. And even if it had, it's none of your business. Well, it is if my children are involved. Oh. Which children are we talking about, exactly? Daisy? Luca? Theo? You've changed. I've wised up. Are you the reason Matt's staying? I don't have to answer that. You already have. He's not good enough for you. And you are? Don't do this to me, Anna. For God's sake, I love you. Just, just remember how good it was between us, please. Why can't you give me another chance? I'm sorry, Tom. I won't give up on us. Sarah letting us stay on without Claudie. Oh, sh I never thought of that. It was really settled there and all. The business was booming. What about the money? What money? Oh, Claudie's. She'll have 250000 just sitting in her account and we'll be skint with nowhere to live and we won't be able to touch a penny. <sighs> you got a pen? Not 
Do you want a pen for? Get practicing. Yeah. All stand. Claudie Williams, will you please stand? Claudie Williams, you have pleaded guilty to obtaining by deception. I understand that you have asked for seven other similar offences to be taken into account. Sorry? Oh, yes, you were, Ship. Uh, sorry, Your Honour. Yeah. I have taken your previous good character into consideration and recognise that you have paid back all of the pension money. However, you were in charge of public funds and you were working in a position of trust. I can explain that, Your Worshipness. <coughs> I didn't really mean to... If I may continue, I feel that in this particular case, a custodial sentence... Yes, you... Oh. <gasps> oh. Claudia, you're all right. She's... Has anyone got any smelling salts? Order. Are you all right to continue, Mrs Williams? Yeah, I suppose so. I feel that in this particular case, a custodial sentence will serve no real purpose. Oh, I, I couldn't agree with you more, Your Holiness. I mean, what purpose would it serve to bang me up? <coughs> and I wouldn't want to share. <coughs> Could someone get Mr Alcott to drink a water? Order. Mrs Williams, I don't think you realise the seriousness of your situation. You are within a hair's breadth of being sent to prison. Oh, yeah. I was just... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Worship. As I was saying, you have abused your position within the community, and it is this court's decision that you should make reparation to that community. I am therefore sentencing you to a 300-hour community service order. I think that's yes! 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 Order! Service. Mrs Williams, I do hope that you, or anyone else in this court, does not look upon this sentence as a soft option. Oh, not at all, Your Holiness. The order will be enforced rigorously in accordance with national standards. And if the terms and conditions are not met, the order will be revoked and a custodial sentence imposed. You'll be starting this week. Is that clear? Yes, of course. This court is adjourned. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, you're free! You're really free! Community service, I still can't believe it! Oh, you're doddle! I won't be so sure. 300 hours is a bit heavy. Yeah, I'll give it up here. Oh, God! Insurance, in case you were sent down. You lying, thieving little. I've been practicing for. That's 21. Let them out. I weren't really going to do it. That's about 40. That's over three and a half months. Three and a half months? Now you've made a mistake. No, I ain't, you know. Oh, flipping heck. What excuse am I going to give the Bronte sisters? That's it. That's my judge. 300 hours indeed. You need to have a word with him. Excuse me. Stop her Excuse me, Worship. Yes. Do you remember me? Uh, I've just worked out my time, and I was wondering if I made a small donation to a local charity, you might consider cutting my hours. Are you offering me a bribe? Not a bribe as such, just a sort of compromise, you know, say, uh, 10 grand and two weeks community service. I would take her away from here before I'm forced to give her a custodial sentence. Oh, oh, Claudia, come on. Oh, oh no. For that. Williams, can we have a picture? Uh, I'm Claudie's sister, and she had her hair and nails done at Million Dollars Beauty Parlour, Chevy Chase. Show me nails, Claudie. Oh, oh Carol, what have you been doing with your nails? All your jewels have chopped off. Flaming <laughs> Nora, uh, could you make your own way up? You know where it is, don't you? It's the next Tuesday. Sorry, uh, we can't allow that. Some of our animals are allergic. To newspapers? Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, can I just check the horoscope? You want the paper by your own? Don't be so mean. I think you'll find that's my newspaper. Oh, you're welcome to it. Mr Robottom, you can take Dougal through now. You're going to miss your turn if you don't go. You can have it back as soon as you're finished. Smile, it might never happen. That thing still here? Yeah, I'm working on it. So I see. I thought we told you to get rid of it. I'm doing the best I can. I'm warning you, Liam. Aren't you even bothered about how it makes me and Anna feel seeing it there? I'm surprised Claudia hasn't said anything, but then maybe it doesn't bother her. Of course it does. You don't realise how corpse she's about your dad. 
No. It's because she hides it so well, swanning around spending his money. That's not fair. No, Liam, what's not fair is that my father died and now we're settled with you lot. Well, I warned you. You'll have to get all the shots and buy every copy you can. Now, Liam! All right, I'm going. I don't know what's up with everyone around here. Remember what I tell my clients, Claudie? Any publicity is good publicity. Not when it's supposed to be a secret. I made mean, flipping front page. Uh, you've probably soaked them long enough now, Carol. Fingertips look like crinkle cut chips. Um, just uh, g give me a second, I'll sort Claudia, I'll be right with you. How are you going to sort this? It's only the same as when Danny Boy dumped me. Picture was all over papers. Your famous footballer boyfriend? You never met him, did you? You never met George. But I don't think getting dumped is quite the same, is it, Paula? But it hurt. And I had to put up with my so-called mates having a laugh at my expense. Don't you remember what Mum used to say? Oh, is that when she weren't cursing me? If you don't believe in yourself, no other bugger will. So what do you care what anybody else thinks? See, Carol agrees. Thanks, Paula. Feel heaps better. Quick, jump in there. Yeah, but your nails look good, though. See? This is how nails should look. Right, Amy, could you sell my horse? Get a ride in before dinner. Sure. So. Can I have a quick word? Oh, uh, actually, I was uh, just, just going for a ride. It won't take long. It's about Sarah. Well, yes, I was afraid you were going to say that. Um, look, old chap, the... Uh... I know you feel responsible. Well, I... Sorry about that. I was just trying to explain. I don't want you to beat yourself up about it. It's all my fault. I should have told her I knew. Well, uh, you know, I, I, I did think you were disgusted, so um, that's why... But she didn't come home last night. Well, she, she probably stayed at the chase. No, she's not talking to Anna either. But she's home now. Well, sort of. But she's still furious with me. Oh, she's... Yeah. Give her some time. She'll come round. God, you look awful. Well, I suppose I've got time to have a drink with an old mate. You know? Cheers, sir. I appreciate it. As I explained, we're out and about trying to make North Oxley a cleaner place to live. Now, your job today, Claudia, will be to empty the dog litter bins in the surrounding area. Miriam, you're on dredging. And the rest of you are with me. Dog litter? I've had a cat litter, but not a dog. You mean shit, sweetie. You can't miss them. They're bright red in colour. Yeah, I've seen them. There's one at the chase where I live. Like to take my dog a walk. Well, that's the area I want you to cover. 24 bins in all. I can't do that area, no way. Someone will see me. I'm sorry, but that's your designated route. Well, can't someone else do it? We've already got our jobs. You're the newbie, and newbies always do the ship bins. Yes, Miriam, thank you. I think Claudia gets the picture. And I will be checking up on you, so no slacking. Oh, yes, and while I think of it, all mobile phones must be left on the minibus. Why don't you chop my hands off and I've done with it? I think that might be a bit drastic. That's yours. Oh. oh, it's not funny. What the flaming net does it look like? Do you want me to 
heard all the flipping dog poopings in the area, including the chase. <laughs> it's not funny. I feel sick. And someone's bound to see me. I don't deserve this. I need you and Paula to help. Paula's working. I've got to get the Land Rover finished. Tough. You both owe me. You're living with me rent free. It's the least you can do. There is no way I am doing this on my own. You go and fetch Paula. You've got five minutes. Liam, what do you think you're doing? Next time you get caught short, do you mind being a bit more discreet, please? <laughs> Fiona, is there a problem? I just thought how nice it'd be if we had dinner together tonight. You, me, and Leo. Sure, I'm just uh, not certain what time I'll be finished, that's all. I had hoped that now you're aware of the little situation that we're in together, that... You might want to spend some more time with Theo and me. Yeah, I do. It's just... And I think it's time we told him the truth. About you being his dad. What? Um. Or maybe he's uh, ready to take that on board. No. Now's the time. Shall we talk about this later? So I'll see you about seven. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll try and work something out. Make sure you do, Tom. Bye. I'm going into town. Didn't you eat anything? That was Tom. He's going to have dinner with us tonight. Is he? Well, that's good of him to make an effort for the yeah. It is, isn't it? I'm going to cook something really special. Oh, Dad, uh, Tom said it's OK if you give me his keys to the flat so I can make a start. The Chase Veterinary Practice, don't be speaking. Summer's come up, so I'll be gone about an yes. hour. I'll put a sign on the door. Well, you've certainly come to the right Wait, place. and can you keep him happy for me? Come on. Sorry, could you hold just a moment? I am not here for your baby. I know you are. Thanks, And the name's Deborah. Just anyone you know. Not just anyone though, am I? And I just almost got caught. What are you doing? I was a brownie, remember? For all of a week. Yeah, but you never forget. Right, come on, I've got all day. Don't just stand there watching Paula. Go into the bins down the road. An unmated turtle. Oh, it's fascinating. And I've seen it before. Unmated turtles developing eggs. Now, the owners don't realise they need a nesting place, otherwise they tend to retain them. If she doesn't expel them, you'll have to operate. What do you think? Sorry, uh, miles away. So I'll have to operate. You just said that. S sorry, mate. Um, actually, it, it's Claire. I'm trying to do the right thing by her, but I'm being pulled from all directions. I know the feeling. It's just that now we can actually be together. I don't know. It's like she's not as interested anymore. I, I can't explain it. I've got the zoo on the phone. They need a veterinary surgeon licensed and trained to use a tranquilizer gun. Well, I am, but uh, it's been a while. Sounds interesting. Can I help? Yes, I am. A lion cub? Uh, yeah. I could be there in, say, 40 minutes. OK, I'll see you then. They need me to examine a cub, so I'm going to have to doubt the mother. Do you want me to assist? You could have taken the call, Richard. If you bothered to listen to me and completed the appropriate training, I told you you should. Oh, for Christ's sake, Deborah! I'm going to have to dig out the tranquilizer gun. Deborah, could you organise cover for me? Of course. Sarah's out on a call, but I'm sure Richard won't mind stepping in. What are you doing? Just had a call from the zoo. They're desperate for a licensed vet to dart a lion. Really? What's wrong with that? There's a problem with the cub. It's limping and they suspect a fracture. We have to take it from the mother. I've forgotten he's still got that tranquilizer gun. Yeah. It's been a while. I'm quite nervous, actually. Want me to go instead? If, uh, if you really want to, I don't mind. No, Tom, you go. You always want it to be the big game vet. 
There was a time when I thought this would be routine. Have fun. Right, that's me done for day. We signed my sheet, Bill. I'll be off. Sorry? Went to Dalt Bins. Only record time, I bet. Oh, good. Uh, we we're just about to have lunch, and uh, oh, then you can partner Miriam dredging the river. Huh? Oh, don't worry, not that one. <laughs> what? I've done misting. Claudie, you were given 300 hours. That means you have to work the full 300, and you've got at least another four out of you today. Flipping it. What do you want? Blood? It's for sale. I'm open to offers. You fancy a test drive? I'm here for the dog, not to buy a motor. Yeah, but you have to grab the opportunities when they present themselves. Yeah. Whatever. Well, it's not too deep on this stretch of the river, so I can leave you two to work on your own while I supervise the others further up. Such faith in us, Bill. I just hope Claudia will show the same enthusiasm that she displayed this morning. Fat chance of that, I'm gonna go slow. Hey, don't be like that. I have high hopes for you. <laughs> He's not so bad, really. I just can't believe what he expects us to do. We're repaying our debt to society. Why? What did you do? It's a case of amnesia. Come on after a visit to the local supermarket. Some I forgot to pay. Is that all? Amnesia has a terrible habit of creeping up on me at regular intervals. I see. <laughs> and what about you? What a poor act have you performed? Cashed in some money that didn't belong to me. And the original recipient? No longer with us. <laughs> Obviously no longer in need. Yeah, you're right. It's just a pity the judge didn't see it that way. <laughs> right, what we're supposed to be doing? We're cleansing our souls. Sorry? We're cleaning the rubbish out of the water. All right. Oh. They're here. Right, could I ask everyone to uh, clear reception, please? Sorry, what that means is we're bringing a wild animal through and we need you to vacate the reception area. We're bringing a lion cub through and your pets are probably going to react to his scent, so it's best if you clear reception. Could you just come into the hallway, please? Thank you. Just for a moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's official. We're working in a flaming zoo. Seen many close up. Well, give me a hand, Claudie. What if it bites? Oh, then you'll bleed, sweetie. But I'll try to hold it still while you try to untangle the line. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Got it. Got oh. It. I think it's bleeding. Probably from a hook. Oh, bless his little cotton socks. Oh, we'll need to get it seen by a vet before it goes into shock. Well, what do you want me to do, fetch Bill? Oh, he could be anywhere. Oh, if I had me mobile. Go find down a cup. Get someone to ring for you. No. <laughs> oh, you'll be all right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so how many miles has it done, then? 99. So what would you say, three grand? Forget it. It's negotiable, of course. She goes like a dream. Just have a test drive. You know you want her. Even if you're not interested, it'll save you a walk on. Poor dog needs a lift by the look of it. <laughs> ah, go on then. But I'm not promising else. Yeah. Frank, do you think you can help? 
help. We just... I just found an otter and it's hurt and we need to get to a vet. An otter? Oh, for Anna. Oh, not the chase. Can't you think of somewhere else? Oh, don't be daft, Claudia. Chase is closest. Where is it? Just down by Bracken Bridge. All right, I'll see you there. Of all the flaming gin joints and all the flaming... Oh. He's so beautiful. What are his symptoms? Um, we noticed him limping early this morning. Could the mother have stepped on him? It's a possibility. Don't forget, if you need to operate, I'm happy to assist. <laughs> have you worked with big cats before, Anna? Oh, Tom and I did a stint in our gap here, didn't we? Many moons ago. But we'll know more from the X-ray. Will you have to be sedated? Well, not well I hope not, it. but... <sighs> How did the darting go, Tom? Actually, he got a first time. We were very impressed. Oh, we'll check out Indiana Jones here. Right, well, I better go. I've got a call out. Make sure you wait for me, right? Right, everybody. Let's get on with it. Did you get help? You could say that. Oh, what's wrong? Flagged a car down. It's only Frank, someone I know. Oh, now he's going to call Anna to come out. Who's Anna? Then Anna will tell Sarah, and before we know it, all flaming lot of them will find out. Oh, I see. You've been keeping it a secret. Well, I'm not going to broadcast it, am I? I think I'd better disappear. And I think you should ditch the designer gear. Oh, don't worry. Oh. So I just thought it might be good to do some voluntary work. That you don't want Anna to know about? Don't like to flaunt me good deeds. Of course not. So you chose clearing rivers? Mm. Someone's got to do it. Yeah, especially when ordered to by the court. Oh, you... Oh, I suppose she'll tell everyone now. Oh, of course not. But why the big secret? I'm embarrassed. Well, I wouldn't bother Anna or Sarah, would it? Oh, believe me, Frank, it would. They think their dad married beneath him, and this just proves it to them. Anna's not like that. She pretends she's not. You can see the way she looks down her nose at me. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm? Oh, careful, Frank. Hmm? Don't drop him. So, uh, what are we going to tell her? Think of something. So, me and Frank were having a picnic, and I looked over, and there it was, weren't it, Frank? Hmm. Um, she's got a slight shoulder wound caused by a fishing hook. It's nothing too serious, but it could have been if it had been left much longer. So is it going to be OK? Yeah, I think so. Oh, she's beautiful. It's a she? Yeah. And she's lucky it's a superficial wound. Right, I'm going to give her a shot of long-acting penicillin just to be on the safe side. But I think the best thing is if we release her straight back. Thanks, Anna. Your dad would be proud of you. Right, better get going. I think you'd be wise keeping your eye on her, making sure she swings off OK. Yeah, of course. Bye. You stay, won't you, Frank? I'd be honoured. Hello, Benny. Hello. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right, Amy, I think that's enough for today. Well done. What the hell are you playing at? Sorry, they're on your steering wheel locked. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about Nero? Come on, come on. What have you got? Well, I was just telling Simone it's a dislocated hip. <laughs> Look, now the femoral head is seated above the acetabulum. Well, I can't see any fractures. No, but we're still going to have a job to get it back into the right position. So you're going to have to anesthetize him. That's such a shame. Yeah, I know. Let me just take another look. Simone, if you could just hold him while I take hold of his back leg. And if I just... Good boy. There's a good boy. And then There's pull it gently toward me. Did you hear that? Has it come back in? Well, it felt like it. Hang on, let me just feel... <laughs> yeah. Seems firmly seated and... It's in the correct position. Congratulations. That's amazing. Well, I'm going to have to do another x-ray, but... Oh. <laughs> you did it, Tom. Oh. Get back to it. Um, 
did a great job. You should be proud of yourself. I just got lucky. And I've done nothing to be proud of. You don't seem in a hurry to leave here. She's just like another young lady I know. You talking about me? I might be. Yeah, I admit it. I love living round here. It's the first proper home I've ever had. I just wish the Brontes weren't so against me. Well, you can't blame them. Chase has been their home as long as I can remember. They've never accepted that George could love someone like me. No, I don't think it's that. You should have seen the state we were in when we met. He'd forgotten how to smile. I made him laugh. Well, maybe that's the problem. You forced Anna and Sarah to face up the fact that George was so unhappy and they were too caught up in their own lives to even realise. Do you think so? They're not bad girls. Oh, well, Sarah's got a gob on her. <laughs> no match for you, though, eh? I can't believe she's actually his daughter. I'd have put money on it being Anna. Would you? That's interesting. Yeah, Anna's gentle like George. You know, George could make you feel special. I couldn't believe it when he asked me out. I thought we're out of his league. You got everything he went after, did George? I suppose I was jealous of him. Ended up he had everything. Everything I wanted. What do you mean? Well, you know, good marriage, family. Yeah, but you had Shirley and Fiona. You're right. And look what a pig's ear I made of that. Hey, where's the otter gone? Ah, oh, she must have swam off while we were gassing. Come on, love. I'll buy you a drink to celebrate her freedom. I should wait for Miriam. Oh, nah, she probably packed up and gone home by now. <laughs> oh! Yes! Oh! He's injured. Look at his leg. All right, let's get him inside. 2,500 smackaroonies, and it's all thanks to you, Claudia. Just glad you got rid of the plumbing thing. I made over two grand for a few hours' work. Frank, get the drinks in, I'm buying. Tom is the zoo again. Hello, Tom Bedford. Oh, well, thanks. We were rather pleased ourselves. Can you repeat that? Are you serious? What can I say? Yes, I'll give it some thought. Thanks. Goodbye. Is there a problem? Sorry? Uh, no. No, they were really pleased. Hello, the Chase Veterinary Practice. Can I help you? No, Lindsay. Oh, sorry. I am Paula. Right, waxing. Have you ever been waxed before? Oh, it's great. Oh, I always recommend anything. the full Brazilian, but it's totally up to you. No, no, actually, I'll be no, speaking to your supervisor if it doesn't no, arrive no. tomorrow. Thank you. So sorry about that. Can I help you? I'm looking for Claudie Williams. Can I ask what it's in connection with? I, I, I'm, I'm Claudie's sister. Can I help? You still nosing? I am not nosing. I'm just doing my job. Well, I'm here now. I'm Bill Draper. Uh, uh, can you just give me a sec um, like, while I just show my client upstairs? Oh. Okay. Oh, Anna, this gentleman's looking for Claudie Williams. This is Anna. She's Mrs Williams' stepdaughter. Hi. Hi. Um... I was just a bit concerned about Claudie when she wasn't at the river after finding the otter. Oh, well, I was one that treated the otter, but I left Claudie by the riverbank. I must have missed her. It's just that we insist that everyone on community service reports back at the end of the day to be signed off. Oh, right. I didn't realise. Anna, sorry to interrupt. There's been an accident at the Montgomery's, one of the horses. They need an emergency visit. Oh, well, Sarah's out on call, a mobile. No quick word. Oh, sorry. I'm 
so sorry, Claudie. I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what? Bill Draper has been to the chase, and he's told Annie you're doing community service. Oh, flipping heck, that's ruined everything. After all the flaming hard work I've done to keep it secret. It wasn't my fault. I didn't say it were. I know, but I should have stopped him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Claudie, because you've always been there for me. What's brought this on? I just want to tell you how grateful I am for everything you've done for me. The business, everything. I'm proud of you, Paula. You're the one with the certificates. Nobody does a back second crap like you. Shoot! Oh, I've only got a left a client line on the table with undies. Oh, go on, go on. Everything all right? Anna's found out about me community service, so she'll tell Sarah. What am I going to do? They're going to be unbearable to live with. Well, they were bound to come out. Just come clean. That's all you can do. They'll respect you for it. Can't see that somehow. You might be surprised. They're not ogres. Just front up to them and make like you don't know they know. Thanks, Frank. I've done that. You have. You're welcome. My door's always open. Hi, Amy. Hey. Sarah, I'm so glad you could come out. Um, I haven't been able to contact William. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, that looks nasty. Looks like he's lacerated the superficial flex tendon. I'm gonna have to sedate him. How did it happen? Ron lost control of his Land Rover and Nero bolted. Right, do you want to take him in there and I'll prepare the sedation? Yeah, sure. Okay. We'll come. Uh, do you think we should use an emo sling? Well, on a domestic animal I'd say yes, but this is very different. If it stays back in its position, there should be no reason to immobilise. Let's see how he fares overnight. Are we keeping him here? Well, we should know more by morning. And we can't really afford to put the mother through the trauma of darting her again. But he needs to go to an equine hospital. I was thinking maybe Liverpool. I suppose racing is going to be out of the question with an injury like this. It's hard to say till he's had surgery, but um, it's unlikely. I get the feeling you're ignoring me. I'm ignoring you. Why haven't you returned my calls? I meant to. I've been very confused since you left the other morning. And then, uh, Adrian came to see me you earlier. You didn't say anything, did you? Of course not. Why would I do that? Look, just for the record, Sebastian, I'm not proud of myself. But it happened. And we can't ignore it. You are a beautiful woman, Sarah. I was honoured to be there for you, but I, I can't do this to Adrian. I just can't. You can't do this to him. Oh, I'm sorry, Sebastian. You've got this all wrong. I think we should just you know, try and forget about it. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Really? I'll arrange for the horse to be transported. Sarah, don't be like that. You'll get my bill in the post. Oh, that's great. You are going to have to clear away there soon for tea. I'm sorry, I've got Adrian. Very nice, Daisy. Do you want to just give us a minute? I just want a word with you, Mum. Go and show Luca and Jake. I'm sure they'll like your picture. Sorry. You'd have to take it out on the children. How long are you going to punish me for? Adrian and I wouldn't do what we thought was right. I know, but that doesn't help. Adrian's phoned me. Oh, really? Are you two plotting again? He's concerned for you. He still wants to know where you stayed the other night. What did you tell him? Well, the truth, I didn't know. Thanks. You could have covered for me. Why? Where were you? None of your business. Look, please don't be like this with me. Can't we put it behind us? It's easy for you. I think Claude is doing community service. What? Well, since when? I don't know. A probation officer came looking for her earlier. Oh, my God. Oh, that's the best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> Can you imagine her picking up litter in those heels? I'd love to be a fly on the wall. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I promise I'll never betray your trust again. I felt so alone. Come here. Oh, no. 
really stupid. I'm glad you both. I need to tell you something. Should we sit down? So you know all about the mix-up with the pensions? The pensions that you fraudulently cashed? Yeah. Well, I was in court last week, and I was given community service. And I've been too embarrassed to tell you. Oh, so you managed to con the judge into letting you go free? Paying it all back went in my favour. Well, my dad paying it all back because you used the money that you got from remortgaging the house. Please, I'm trying to explain to you. I'll give her a chance. I've been given 300 hours community service. Quite right, too. You really don't like me, do you, Sarah? At last, the penny drops. Sarah, please. What have I ever done to you except make your dad happy? We've all lost George, your dad. And we all loved him, didn't we? <gasps> you do believe I loved him, don't you? Oh, you know what? Think what you want. I did. I do. He was the kindest, most generous man I've ever met. Do you know when he used to talk about you two? His face would light up. He was so full of pride. I couldn't wait to meet his wonderful girls. And I knew you'd think I was too young for him. But you said you wouldn't care how old I was. As long as I made him happy. You did make him happy? Yes, I did. But you both made it perfectly obvious that you didn't think I was good enough for your dad. I'm sorry. He was a gentleman. Yeah, he was. So how do you think he'd feel about all this bickering? He'd want us to help each other getting over losing him. And I'm finding it really hard at times. Especially now. Why didn't you tell us you were in court? What, so you could come and have a good gloat? No, we would have liked to have been there to support you. You put your hand on your heart and say that. Well, we've all been through it, haven't we? One way or another. I know you needed him when you lost the baby. Well, it's all dealt with anyway now, isn't it? Maybe we can all make more of an effort to pull together. I suppose we could try. Your dad would like that. Claudia, I think we've got a problem. That Montgomery bloke's been looking for me and he doesn't look very happy. Well, I'm sorry to encroach on your private time, but I need to speak to Liam about the Land Rover. Have you heard what's happened? No, what? He sold the Land Rover to Ron and it ran out of control. Nearly cost Ron his life and injured a very expensive horse. Liam! Oh, my God, Liam, you could have killed someone! It wasn't my fault. I'm afraid it was. Don't you know that it's against the law not to disclose that a vehicle's been involved in a serious accident? It was sound. Oh, so sound that the steering column sheared. Can you actually comprehend what you've done? I sold him that motor in good faith. Faith being the operative word. What did you do? Cross your fingers and pray? What do you want me to do? I want you to reimburse Ron for a start. No problem. There you go. Claudia, I spent 50. Can you lend me? Well, that's something, I suppose. It was an accident! Well, that's no excuse, I'm afraid. I have no option but to notify the police, and I will be pressing charges. <laughs> the police? I don't think you realise how expensive an animal like that is. How about 20,000? Oh, please. 50, then. You can't afford that. Where are you going to get £50,000 from? I'm sorry, Claudia, I'm not prepared to do business like this. You come back to me with a sensible offer and I'll think about it. Claudia, what are we going to do? I'll be back inside if he calls the police. Mr Montgomery? Mr Montgomery? I'll give you £100,000 in cash if you promise to not go to the police. And where are you going to get that kind of money from? I'll get it to you by the end of the week. In that case, it's a deal. I'm so sorry, Claudia. That's almost half your insurance money. What's this, Claudia? Another secret you've been keeping from us? You knew about it. It's your dad's insurance money. It's finally come through. And if I can help my little brother, then I'm glad. Because at least I know what family means. Don't worry about it, Liam. I won't miss it. It's blood money anyway. Hi, this is Tom. Please leave a message. Tom? It's Fiona. Theo and I have been waiting for you. Where the hell are you? Don't worry, baby. Daddy will be home soon. He's just like 
like Simba. No, this is a real lion. Is he vicious? He was a wild animal, so he has to be able to protect himself. Where was he born? Well, he was born in the zoo, but uh, lions originate from Africa. Our teeth say you shouldn't keep animals in a zoo. It's cruel. Well, in a perfect world, all animals would roam free, but I'm afraid life's not like that. Come on, kids. It's late. Time for bed. I want to stay here with the cub. He's gorgeous. If you're good and you do as you're told, you can see him tomorrow before school. Come on. Night night. Phone call from the zoo tonight. He wanted to know if I was interested in a job. At the zoo? No, in Botswana. Cross border conservation. It's it's a fantastic opportunity. So you've said yes? Well, I'd said I'd think about it. Right. If I was to take the job, they'd want me to start next month. How long for? It's a year's contract. Wonderful. No, I don't think you understand what I'm trying to say. Oh, I understand all right. You've got some romantic notion in your head that you're running off to fulfil. No, I'm not running off. I'm asking you to come with me, Anna. We can get away from here and make a fresh start. Are you serious? I've never been more serious about anything. Why are you doing this to me, Tom? Doing what? Making me choose. Choose what? Between me and the children or some boy who doesn't know whether he wants to be a nurse or a pop star? Is that really such a hard choice? Deborah's been moonlighting for Montgomery. What? Apparently, she's been organizing his social life. There's something I've been wanting to ask you for a few days now. Only might cause a few problems. Mags has only gone and bagged herself a bloke. You a sap? No, no, I'm an animal lover. <laughs> Listen, if you'd rather spend your so-called quality time with Matt, don't let me stop you. Oh, I won't. A while ago, you asked me for a divorce. The answer's yes. Explore the UK's highest peaks in very good company. Griff Rhys Jones presents Mountain next on BBC One. And the British film season continues over on BBC Two with 007. Sean Connery's Bond from Russia with love. <laughs> 